I'm Jonathan with Nomadic Cooling. We're over here at HQ3, Glendale, Arizona. Today we'll be unboxing the Lithionics 51 volt, 110 amp hour battery packs. Enclosed in this box is over 5,600 watt hours of power with an external BMS. Okay, Kenny. Uh, we're not going to be doing an install video today. We're going to be just talking briefly about this system and why we bought this system. Number one, to say thank you to Steven over at Lithionics for everything he's done for us, for believing in us, and always giving us customers that he believes need a little bit of cold air technology when they were on the road, Kenny. He loves our cold air technology, and he believes his customers may too, so that's why he sends them our way. In kind, we are going to be putting Steven's from Lithionics. Uh, 51 volt battery packs inside our Ford F750 end of the world apocalypse zombie vehicle. We have two of these. These are 110 amp hours each, 100% enclosed. That's 5,600 watt hours. I mean, the military uses these. Winnebago has started using these. Uh, what we also have is an external BMS. Quality matters here. We have the battery combiner box. So we have the two batteries so far. And if we have room in the vehicle, we're gonna add another two batteries later. Because remember, when we're at events across the United States, we're gonna need to have air conditioners running the entire time while we're on site. That means eight to 10 hours a day, we're gonna need multiple air conditioners running to show people all of our beautiful cold air technology. So this is gonna become in handy. I don't know exactly how much this thing weighs, but it's an impressive amount of weight. And you can also tell that it's 100% custom manufactured for the task at hand. Obviously, once again, nothing was skimped on the quality of this device. It looks like we have a display right here for uh, amp hours and all the good jazz right there. Looks like we have here uh, an installation guide. We've got a bunch of other cables here, probably for the internal heaters inside the battery. So there's on off switches for that. We've got just some standard Molex wire here. It looks like we also have uh, blank studs that we're gonna go inside the battery combiner box until we buy more batteries. Apparently these are on the old house from over there from Lithionics until we buy batteries to go with them. Blown away right now. Steven, literally blown away with the quality here. And this is the interesting thing that I think a lot of people don't realize is most people, especially businesses, always focus on trying to buy or manufacture the cheapest quality components and then making the biggest margin they can. Especially in lithium batteries, there's a, there's a race to the bottom as far as cost is concerned. It's, oh, I found these batteries for this cost, or I found these batteries for that cost. And what people fail to realize is that they're literally driving around in their vehicles with their most prized possessions, probably their families, and you make the decision to buy the cheapest thing with very little consideration for safety. Over here at Nomadic Cooling, safety is number one. And remember how much actual energy is packed into one of these batteries. And then go to YouTube and watch lithium batteries explode. Nowadays, lithium ion batteries are used in pretty much everything from children's toys to laptop computers, our cell phones. There's a lot of pieces and processes that go into making the battery work. The electrolyte inside of the battery is an organic solvent and that solvent is flammable. So if the battery can't vent, you build up pressure as the, the electrolyte burns and then it explodes. In that mass production process, if something goes wrong even a little bit, it might be very difficult to catch, but small mistakes lead to big problems down the line. Previous instances of batteries catching fire, uh, the cause has been bad welds. Um, a lot of the pieces of the battery are welded together, and if you don't have a good weld, uh, you develop resistance. The resistance develops heat. Heat leads to fire. There are lithium ion batteries everywhere around us all the time and the vast, vast majority of cases, nothing goes wrong. This is important. This is a safety feature. This is something that you will use every day and will probably outlast your vehicle. 
okay? Steven, great on you for building the best product possible and not trying to design the cheapest inadequate product available. I wanna leave you with a couple thoughts. Number one, these batteries were not free. Uh, we paid for these batteries. This is not a paid promotion. It's what it is is a thank you video to Lithionics to be quite honest for everything they've done for us over there. But I wanna leave everybody with this. Uh, your safety is important, our safety is important, uh, your kid's safety is important, and so just don't skimp on your electrical stuff. Just buy the best that you could possibly afford for your Overland or your, uh, your Adventure Mobile, because safety does matter. Pretty excited to get into this. I'm pretty excited to learn more about Lithionics batteries, and the way that I learn is by actually installing this stuff, putting it to putting it to use. And as we do build videos or progress videos of the Ford F750, we're gonna take you along the way. I hope you guys click the subscribe button because I'm desperate for view counts and I'm desperate for the algorithm to start loving us because as you know, we're giving 100% of our YouTube money over there to the puppies over at Do Barb's Dog Rescue south of the border in Puerto Panasco, Mexico. Hey guys, just remember, if you wanna go further in comfort with cold air technologies, uh, big, beautiful, red batteries. Do me a favor, go over to Nomadic Cooling today and uh, hope we all go further in comfort together. Let's get after it.